What's up, it's Paul from Guitar World, and today we're gonna to be looking at an innovative and awesome new product from Digitech, the IPB10 Programmable Pedal Board. Let's check it out. Digitech's IPB10 is specifically designed for people who use an iPad. You really don't benefit from this product without an iPad because what happens is your iPad becomes the control interface or command center while the programmable pedal board basically pulls out all the sounds and effects that are built into this unit. So it's real easy to use. You have an iPad, you download the free app which is the IPB10 Nexus app, which is a free download from Apple. You get it on your iPad, load it onto your iPad. Then you can take your iPad and load it into the IPB10 programmable pedal board. It's real easy. As you can see, it just drops right in. It charges over here and, and of course it locks right in. And then you take this and your whole iPad is locked in to this programmable pedal board. And with that, you have access to over 87 different pedals, 54 amplifiers, and 24 different cabinets. It's a virtual library of sounds. What's really revolutionary about the IPB10 is how easy and intuitive it is to use. Once you have the app installed, you can start scrolling around and start building your guitar sound. You can use, of course, the amp sounds in conjunction with your amplifier, or you can just use the effects in conjunction with your amplifier, or if you don't want to even use your amplifier and use it as a power, uh, sort of to power it and just run off of that, you can. And you can even use external effects as well. It's so easy and I'll show you in depth on how to really dig up a sound, call up a sound, start moving knobs like that. It's real easy and intuitive. Keep in mind there's one other thing about this that you don't necessarily need your iPad in the unit in order to use this. The iPad serves as that control center where you program and as long as you remember where all your presets are, you don't need to have that there if you're a little weary of having your iPad on stage with you. So that's the great thing about this unit. Looking at the screen here, you can see Digitech organized this intelligently. Starting at the top here, we have the amp models, and what we have here is a plexi drive. Over to the right, we have our cabinet models, and down here we have the effects. With the amp models, changing a value on the knobs is as simple as touching the actual knob that you wish to change the value on and increasing it up or down by, by, down by moving the knob down with your finger or going up to increase the value. If you want to change the amp model, like right here I have a plexi drive, simply touch the amp. It'll bring up a screen, of, a screen of all the available amps and you can just go through it and change whatever you want. Say I want to try to change it to the Citrus 120, tap on it, it instantly brings it up. Real easy to use. And then if I can go back to say, let's do my 800 JCM here and I want to go to the cabinets and change a cabinet, same deal. I can simply tap on the cabinet and it brings up a screen of different cabinets. Right now I have a classic 412. How about I do a green 412, pick that, or a Fane 412, let's go with that. And then tap it back and then you hit done and you're out of there. Moving over here we have all our effects, which there are 87 of them. And uh, just by simply touching them you can see I can change the value of the chorus. If I want, if this is too small, I tap it twice. It'll bring it up. And you can see now I can easily start changing values on the chorus the same way I did on the amplifiers by moving it up and down in value. The other thing to note is I can turn on the effects simply by touching them. So you'll see the red light go on if I touch where it is. See now my 
chorus is engaged, turn it off. Now, if I want to change that, swap that chorus for another effect, just touch it, and now it brings up a whole slew of different modulation, modulation effects because I'm selected on a modulation effect, and I can change it to an auto wah, a tremolo. I mean, the possibilities are endless here. There's so many effects to choose from. But let's go back to the multi-chorus. And then when I'm done, I just click on done. And I have that there. Now, the way everything is organized on the IPB10, as you can see, the, you can have up to five effects here, even more if you want. And if you touch the screen with this little arrow, you can see other effects that are in play, such as a wah, a noise gate, and a three-band EQ. I can have a lot more effects on top of this. And I can edit that in the edit menu, so you can, I can move effects around, put them in any sorts of loops in my amps, or in front of the amp, in the loop, or however I wish to rearrange it. The possibilities are endless for the signal chain on this. So let's go back to this. So I have all five effects in play here, and I can simply turn them on and off by touching the screen, or, of course, if I'm playing live, by the, the foot switches on top here. So the A, B, C, D, E control the effects here. Down here, the numbers control the presets, and if I need to go through the banks, I have the up and down switches over here to save up to 100 presets on this unit. So I can simply call up my presets just by touching them here on the bottom, just below the effects pedals. You can see the many different, uh, different presets I've had just in bank two, and I can, of course, foot switch between them. The other thing that's really neat, too, is I can quickly scroll through my banks, even by touching the iPad as well. Just by simply moving my finger across the screen, I can quickly go to uh, bank 15, click on preset 3, and it calls up another, uh, another preset called Vox Delay. I can easily edit my presets from here. So you can see all the effects that are in play, where they're located, and if I want to, I can move them around just by simply taking my hand and moving them around and putting them in any, any fashion and any signal chain that I want, and even in between, as you can see over here, stomp loop. Once you find the settings that you like, you can save it as a new preset and just basically scroll through it, and you can rename it if you want, and, and the keyboard uh, function will pop up and let you, allows you to rename it. Or you can do a quick save as well, just by tapping up here. There's also a section here called My Tones, where you can call up your tones and edit from there. There's a help screen in case you get lost. There's also, there's also the tuner function as well. And then over here, here's your global volume over here on all your presets, which you can set for each preset. And then there's a settings menu as well. Because of the wealth of effects and amp models built in, you can get every type of tone with the IPB10 from wacky to classic. So what I'm going to do is let you hear just a few uh, cool presets. I'll change some knobs, turn them on, turn, turn it on and off so you can hear how authentic some of these sounds are.
Digitech's IPB10 programmable pedal board along with the IPB Nexus app for your iPad is the perfect marriage. The ability to use your iPad along with the IPB10 programmable pedal board gives you unlimited possibility in sculpting your guitar sound from the various amp models, effects, and cabinets that are found within. Definitely check it out.